Hey everybody on YouTube, uh, we're coming to you today with a video that we're going to just, it's going to be a short one, but we had a breakdown yesterday on a sawmill. So we were making a video and that video will be coming out in the future. However, at the end of cutting, we were almost done and we had a, uh, one of our wheels blew apart on the casting. This happened to us once before and we were able to braise it. It's been almost a year now and it's been working great. So I'm not quite sure what did it, but we're gonna try to fix this one to get us through a little bit of cutting while we uh, order another one to repair it. So we'll just give you a little bit of an idea. We come in here. I got my helper helping me record today. My daughter, she loves to be a part of this. So you can see here where we broke apart and unfortunately it was right at the balancing part where the where holes drilled right here on the interior to balance the wheel. So we're just gonna attempt to, we've got this all V'd out and back in place. So we'll take and get this set in place and then we will do some brazing again since this is cast and then we will attempt to balance it better. And for the time being, we'll just lower our RPMs on our sawmill a little bit, see how that does um, until we get our new wheel. Because I don't know if it's necessary, but again, I don't know what did this, but it's hard to say. I mean, that's a lot of centrifugal force on the outer rim of this wheel as it's going, so. Let's just get to it and see what it does. I don't know. Got to get the, I mean, we want like the perfect fit, the best we can get, or that belt is going to not work right. It's close. So we're getting it, getting the piece put in there really going over it with her eye, you know, as best we can. I mean, we tap it with the most expensive hammer you see there. Just trying to get it snug. There are lots of tools and instruments to use, but sometimes the eyeball is the best. That's why the old saying, say, I'm gonna use my eye chronometer. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to tack it in place just barely with the MIG. Just one little touch and then we can put the belt in, attempt it, see what it's, how it's riding. Does it appear that it's going to appear that it's going to it's okay. We'll you can think about it. Spit it out. Without flopping our belt all over the place. Um, one benefit to the rubber V belt we use. Well, I was trying to say um, on this because some footage was lost was that, that our sawmill is backed up by springs behind hydraulics on the tensioning system. So that helps absorb any differences with the so belt riding around. With our welder here. Okay, so what we're doing here is we use our MIG welder just to make a few just tiny little tacks, uh, get it right into place where we want, and then we'll braise around that MIG, but that just makes it easier to hold than trying to clamp odd pieces.
Okay, we're back. Um, got our glasses cleaned. Cleaned our tip on our torch. We got a brazing rod ready. We're gonna preheat this a little bit. By no means are we professional welders or is this saying that this is the best way to do it or that we know everything. Uh, although we have been welding multiple ways our whole life. Um, so we've practiced <laughs> quite a few years but that doesn't mean that we are showing you the absolute best way as somebody who has been really schooled on this. Uh, this is just us trying to show you how we would like to do it. So we're gonna use our regular torch tip. We wanna bring it to somewhat of a neutral flame. More neutral. And I don't know if you can see the blue tip right nope, here. Can't really see the blue tip of this camera. Sorry. I want it to just be cracking on the blue flame there. Just be. That's gonna benefit us the most, I believe. We're trying to do this the appropriate way. So we're going to try to tack this. Sometimes they call it the oxygen handle. Introduce a lot of oxygen to this. Here, I have no idea what I'm saying, obviously, because it's 100 mile an hour, but I'm probably saying, oh, 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 I ruined it. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, maybe I got it. Who knows? Who knows what's going through my mind? Probably, oh, this will never work. Pull the torch away, you can see, okay, so we got some heat going in that now. Enough that it will accept this rod. Yeah, you got some heat going in there now. I mean, come on, don't overheat that thing. Right about here, I think, where I pulled the torch away, you can see I... I've got it a little hot on the thin part, maybe not enough heat on the thicker part. That's something to probably try to avoid. Boy, that, that seam right here, that just flowed in beautifully. Uh, I'm glad I caught that on camera. I mean, don't hurt yourself in the back, pat that now. And by no means are we professionals at what we're doing. I think we say that in the video here somewhere. But this is just showing how we hope to fix this. Okay, so this is where we're at there. So that that seam there might not show well. All right, well, we got set up here in a vise, uh, kind of get us the angle we want. So let me just get this place right here. All right, stand. Perfect. Let's give that a shot. Let's see what we can do here. Flame on. I mean, we're getting it, you know, we, we, we rolled the wheel up there, looked down in, it's got some BBs and stuff, but whatever, we'll grind them out. Um, 
we don't have the highest hopes for this. We'd just like to be able to cut a little bit more before our next piece comes in. But this is just kind of an example of what you could possibly do to get out of a pinch. Okay, I think we've accomplished what it is we're after. We got a few straggling beads that are, aren't attached. Definitely gonna have our work cut up for us. Grinding this thing into what we need it to be, but it's pretty ugly down in there. You can see that's the holes where it was originally balanced. So we'll try to drill some of those back out help with balancing this um okay. right about here you can hear my girls been around on the meal we'll in the background slowly cure wrap it up and then i'll grind it and then i'll show you a few pictures i think everybody if they watched this video uh, I'm, I didn't end up having any pictures. I'm just going to go ahead and post the video. And then on our next one, we have it on the sawmill. I'll show you how it looked. 